If you enjoyed my last video on the conscious mind, then here's part two, where we're going to examine the unconscious mind. Using my lovely jar of honey again, this large portion of honey here represents the unconscious mind. This large portion is where all our thoughts, feelings, memories, and urges lie that are outside of our conscious awareness. What's important to be aware of though, is that our unconscious mind does and continues to have a major impact slash influence on all our behaviors. Our repressed feelings and hidden memories that are too painful to consciously face are all stored in this enormous reservoir that makes up the unconscious mind, just like this big reservoir of honey. Mm. Some other ways that the unconscious affects present behaviors are negative thoughts, old childhood behavioral patterns, distressing patterns in romantic relationships, and unhealthy habits that we carry through into adulthood. How can we make what is unconscious that lies within this enormous reservoir and bring it to the surface to make it conscious. One way, and it's a really fun way, is to analyze your dreams by keeping a dream journal. Dreams are a great pathway to the unconscious. Seek out a therapist and self-reflect daily by using a journal to help better understand yourself. And lastly, what's gonna help you to understand your unconscious mind is by dropping me a follow.